We're going to turn now to the Middle East, where Israel and militants in Gaza have been bombarding each other now for three straight days. Other countries trying to broker a ceasefire, but so far no luck. And there is already considerable damage from strikes by Israeli warplanes inside Gaza and Islamic Jihad rockets inside Israel. Ian Lee has more. Sirens blare across southern Israel overnight as rockets from Gaza streak across the sky. Palestinian militants have fired more than 500 in the past four days. Israel has intercepted many, but not all. Yesterday, one rocket hit an apartment building, killing an Israeli man and wounding five others. Another destroyed Miriam Karen's house. She asked, who knows what the future holds for us? I survived today, and that's what matters. In Gaza, the suffering also continues. Israel hit roughly 150 targets. Palestinian officials say more than 30 people have been killed, including at least 10 civilians in the current fighting. This father carries the lifeless body of his 10-year-old daughter, one of the youngest victims. Parents there worry for their children. Melina El Hindi says, we don't feel safe even at home. The worst fighting in months escalated after Israel targeted key commanders of Islamic Jihad in Gaza. Israel's prime minister warned his country will kill whoever threatens it. Egyptian mediators are now working for a ceasefire. The question isn't if they'll succeed, but rather when they do, how long it will last. For CBS Mornings, Ian Lee in London.